Hey guys, welcome Hi. to Blackstar. Hi, I'm Danilo. How you doing? I'm Danilo. I'm Steve. I'm Luca. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you I'm the product trainer at Blackstar. Let me show you around the office. Thank you very much. So behind you and over here, this is where our meeting rooms are based on the first floor, and this is where all the important decisions are made. Follow me through. So welcome. Thank you. These are the offices at Blackstar. There are many people in meetings at the moment. So this is where the marketing team are based. Okay. Also, we have sales here as well. This is where the sales team Hi. look after all the business. Hi. Of our finance department up there as well. Back over here, we've got our digital team who look after digital design, DSP. We've got the mechanical side here, more of the analog side of things over here. This is where our directors are situated, but they're away on important business, business. at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Everything that you try and feel and listen to from Blackstar is all designed here in Northampton, UK. Okay guys, welcome to the Black Star Studio. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. This is where we do a lot of the filming of videos for brand new content. So it's a specific room to show off our newest, latest products. You know, we've had St. James come out recently. Yeah. This is our current flagship guitar amps. They're valve amplifiers with a lot going on. They're really lightweight products and they sound fantastic. So would you like to check them out? <laughs>
<laughs> I see you're having <laughs> fun. Yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, St. James amplifiers, they've been a project for Black Star for around yeah. about three years. Okay. So the R&D that's gone into these bad boys yeah. is a lot. Yeah. So yeah. it's a very important project for, for Black Star. For many years now, we've been known to uh, have great products in the digital sector of, of, of the guitar market. Yeah. But it's about time we return to our, our true colors of valve amplifiers. Okay. So we wanted to come out with something very unique. And for the longest time, as far as I can remember, being in this industry for a long time, is that um, lots of people love the sound of valve, yeah. but um, they're often put off by the weight of a product. Yeah. So there's three main things with St. James that we talk about yeah. um, with the project. The lightweight aspect is a yeah. huge thing. You know, we're looking around about 6.7 kg for the heads. I mean, you can literally use one finger. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> for a 50 watt for valve. For a 50 watt valve, valve. head. That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it, it is crazy. So 6.7 kg, the combos are around 13 kg, and the 2x12 is just over 13 kg. The speakers were the first thing we looked at. Okay. So we contacted Celestian, mm -hmm. a fantastic company. Yeah. Yeah. We really uh, adore the sound of the, of the Celestian Vintage 30. So we approached Celestian and said, could you build us a lightweight speaker, um, half the weight, a quarter of the weight of a Vintage 30? The answer yeah. was no. no. <laughs> but they treated it as a really interesting project and came yeah. back with a lot of samples. Okay. And eventually we got to a place where the sound production was just right. So it's a proprietary speaker that's been designed by Celestian for St. James. All right. The second thing is the wood, the wood that we, the timber that we used. Yeah. It's a candlenut ply, so it's very robust. It's, it's a good strong wood, but it's yeah. lightweight. Okay. It's also got great acoustic properties. Yeah. And the third thing, which is probably most important, is the transformer. Yeah, because yeah. those are the heaviest part in the cabinet. The yes, head, so. Yeah. yeah, so usually with a valve amplifier or a tube amp, the heaviest section is, yeah. is the transformer. Yeah. Now, one of the main projects with St. James was to do our own SMPS power supply. When you're using a valve amplifier, there's lots of voltages that are being pulled from different areas of the board. Okay. Oh, I see. The SMPS switch mode power supply that Blackstar has designed, pulls all of that voltage, all of that current that you need to run a valve amp and more. Okay. So the consistency is absolutely wonderful. And also one of the plus points of the SMPS power supply that we've designed is that it's universal voltage. I see. I could do a show in London and I could fly to Milan and do the same show yeah. with the same head, which is pretty unique. Um, this is an EL34 power amp yep. with ECC 83s in the preamp, so 12 AX7s. Yeah, this is right. ECC 83s, 12 x 7s in the pre, yeah. and 6L6 in the power amp. Yeah. They're very traditional to look at. So the front yeah, panel yeah. is very easy. So there's two channels, yep. yeah. clean and overdrive. The overdrive channel has a secondary option. Here it's a boost, and here it's a different voice. Voicing, okay. Um, the EQ is dual pot EQ. So each channel, the EQ changes, EQ. Okay. Yeah, which is very unique. Yeah. With this head and this head, the clean channel our reference tone for that clean of was course. a 65 blackface twin. Okay. okay. Um, really so nice. a very revered clean platform yeah. for yeah. pedals. Yeah. Not only does the EQ switch, but also the reverb. Yeah. yeah. So it complements the channel that you're on. Yeah. It's much longer on the clean channel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh. On the overdrive channel, it's more subtle. Yeah. 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 Slightly because shorter. Actually, yeah, because you don't actually need You have a that. shorter decay. Yeah. 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 And it reacts to the way you play. As well. Yeah, I didn't touch the reverb, but it's the same position as before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very awesome. cool. So that's the same on both products. All right. The the six L six has a little bit more of a glassy top end. Yeah. Okay. A bit more low mid. Yeah. Um. So really, we're sort of thinking about maybe the American side of All things, right. and then maybe more the, the British side of yeah. things in in amplifier history. Of course. Yeah. So the clean channel is voiced the same, and what's interesting is if you turn the EQ all the way off. Yeah. You lose your volume, so it's exactly yeah. the same circuit. Now my cue is all turned off. Okay. So. Yeah. That's just with the cue. Yeah. So it's the same circuit as you would find on a on a blackface twin. Yeah. Obviously, oh, yeah. the the beauty about Black Star is in the refinement. Of course. Yeah. We don't copy a sound. We re we reference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there'd be no use in copying. No, I mean, yeah, So yeah. we build from of the course. ground up and we reference with of AB course. boxes, yeah. Yes. Jump to channel two, 
And what happens there is it becomes more of a British chimey 60s EQ. Yeah. Um, very much a V style. Okay. So with this in mind, obviously on a top boost, you don't get a mid control. It's just a bass and a treble. Okay. Yeah. So if you put the mid control at noon, you get a highly interactive bass and treble circuit. But what you do get on the mid is a mid cut and a mid boost. I see. Which is variable. So you're kind of doing what an engineer would do to help yeah. you cut through the mix. Yeah, of course. If you do crank the mix of the mid here, uh, to boost it, you're very much in Brian May territory. What we also have here is a, a switchable 10 dB preamp boost. Okay. So it adds a little more saturation on the preamp. All right. It's yeah. really nice mid-range on this yeah. amplifier. Of course, it's playing a Les Paul, so it's more yeah, of, of a mid-range guitar, but still, it's kind of a vintage voice. Yeah. Really nice. If you put the mid at noon, the interaction between the bass and the treble is very, very responsive. Okay. Very much like that AC30 top yeah. boost. If we push the trebles... It So it's very much a vintage platform. Yeah. This is going to appeal to guitar players that like using overdrives. Of course. Boost pedals. But you like to use your own pedals in front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not to say that the 6L6 won't take pedals really well. Yeah, it does. Course. But here you have a lot more gain on tap. Yeah. So we can push from a classic rock tone, anywhere from blues to, yeah. to hard rock, right through to very modern styles with a very tight, uh, focused chug. So if you want to shoot to humbucker and we low yeah. we lower the gain, we can start off with more blues classic yeah. rock. Versatile. Very versatile and really authentic yeah. in a way. So yeah. you can get like this really super uh, tight chug. So very traditional in the front end, yeah. but lots of modern features in the back. Yeah. So we've got things like speaker output options, of course. We've got an effects loop in there as well. But what we've also got is a built-in reactive load. Yeah, which is amazing. Wow. Yeah. So if you're used to products out there by Universal Audio, Two Notes, yeah. uh, Sir, um, there's many great products out there that give you the choice to design your direct tone. Yeah, yeah. Of course, but those are expensive and yeah. you have to buy them separately. So there's yeah. another purchase beyond the amp. As well as the amp. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. so we have our own proprietary system built in. It's called Cabrig and it's part of controlling via the software, which is called Architect. It's a free download for PC and Mac. So you can design your direct tone. Awesome. And there's a number of like, uh, 250 combinations yeah you've got around about 25 cabinets including a direct di so if you want to use third-party irs okay. when you're recording yeah you can you can do those but well. if you want to load the cab rig options which is our own terminology yeah. for yeah. this type of technology you can store three cab rig options on these products awesome so you shut your machine down once you've saved them to the product okay. get to the show and you'll know in position one or position two or position three, Great. you've got a certain setup. Yeah. With St. James, you have the choice of stereo cabs. There's everything from 
one by tens right through to modern 412s. That is amazing. The six choices of microphones, two ribbons, oh, right. two condensers, and two dynamic mics. Okay. That you can have either on or off axis on okay, the speaker. Of course. Yeah, that's okay. the best part for for me, for example, because I live in an apartment, so it, it is impossible for me to have a cabinet mic'd up. What's crazy as well is you have three options to go direct. Yeah, you exactly. have a, a line out, which is stereo, TRS, wow. XLR mono, okay. and also stereo USB. Wow. So you can plug that straight into your machine. Just yeah. with a USB cable. Just with a USB cable yeah. and record. But for a live usage, for example, you can go direct yeah. Yeah. on the PA and then you're monitoring yourself with a real cab, for yeah, example, right? That, absolutely. That's huge because sometimes you're dialing in the perfect tone and maybe the sound guy doesn't really know what to do, how to mic yeah, your exactly. amplifier and then your sound is not yeah. really yours. In that way, it's just like, boom, you can go wrong with that, yeah. right? So one of the appeals these days yeah. of modelers is the fact that the consistency is always there for the player. Of course, yeah. But I think deep down, a lot of guitar players do miss the feel of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's nothing quite like it. Yeah. So we're mixing the worlds of traditional valve of product course. on stage, giving you the, the sound, of yeah. the sound. But also we're giving you the consistency straight to the DI Which yeah. amazing, for the yeah. engineer. So you know that position one might be a 210 and a 412 yeah. with a condenser and a dynamic. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know. And let's say that the lead logo <laughs> on both the heads and the cover Really nice yeah. touch, actually. I mean, <laughs> at, at the end of the day, you know, uh, desirability is really important. Yeah. As much yeah. as we don't like to admit it. No, yeah, of course. Of course yeah. um, but to be able to look at your product on stage. Yeah. Um, and for it to look as beautiful as this. Yeah. Especially with like a dry ice or, or smoke. Of course. Yeah. With the with the illumination of the logo, yeah. it looks fantastic. Yeah. yeah and I can tell so. you're very proud of these amps because you use a special font only for these amps. Eh? Yes. Yes. Which? So the font is a, a new old font. It's actually resurrected. We were originally going to use this font with our artisan products, which are our hand -wired, the very first ones. Yeah. yeah, our first ever products, hand wired boutique, yeah. um, the highest level of craftsmanship. Um, but we've re resurrected the logo for St James. Um, it's a very important flagship product for us. Um, so yeah, it's you can uh, tell. yeah, it's nice to have a new logo. Uh, yeah, the things that that really amazed me here at Blackstar is like uh, that everyone is a guitar player. Yeah. yeah. So everyone can give, you know, their feedback and so the product will be really, you know, refined. One thing that's very important for us yeah. as a company is market research. So yeah. we, we always speak to our customers, our end users, exactly what you said, you know, what the guitarist is looking for. Exactly. Yeah. You know? um, a reactive load is a very popular thing that yeah. people are talking about, oh, going yeah. direct, yeah. but also lightweight valve, yeah. um, small products, easy yeah. to carry. Exactly. Um, it's amazing, really. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much, guys, for your time and being here, coming to visit us at Blackstar. Yeah, thanks for having us. It was yeah. really nice to meet you. Really awesome, people. man. Awesome, thank, thank you. you. Great, thank great, you very much. great pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very thank much. You very. Cool, man. Thanks, guys. Great. Thanks, man. It was That's brilliant. awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a nice really couple of days. Yeah. 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 Safe yeah, flight yeah. home as well. Safe oh, trip. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Thank man. you. Thanks. Thank you. We will have it. Sorry, is that a Marshall? Is that a Marshall? Where?